Okay, so um, I'm about to show you how to wind the bobbin here. And uh, I just want to show you that I got to this screen basically by just touching the screen from the previous screen that was there. So the previous screen that you saw was the images on there and all I did was tap the screen and I got this. Now to wind the bobbin, you have three different ways of showing you on this machine. You can either use the, di the digital screen here by pressing this question mark there with the sewing machine and then touching there for the bobbin. Or you can use this guide at the top, which has steps from one, two, three, sorry, four. Or you can also use the manual. My first time doing this, I used the manual in this, but I'm going to try to just use this to show you how this is really helpful in showing you how to do things. So, we have our bobbin here, and I am going to take this thread out from here that I was sewing with. I brought the cheapest thread possible for this machine for sewing because it's a test machine and I don't want to feel horrible about wasting money. So, calm, calm down please with the video. Okay, okay. I'm just take that out and um, this all right so I have my bobbin here and, and first step here is telling me to put the bobbin on this thing right there to wind it this holds on both sides so I guess it doesn't matter what side it's on I don't know like I said, I haven't sewn in nine years, so this stuff is, is like new to me. So, all right, so I did first step. Second step, it says to push it to the right. I'm pushing it to the right. Press that. Next step is putting the thread here. I'm sure we all already know how to do that. All right, I'm using the small one and I forgot why I'm using the small one I'm sure there's a reason for that I'll let you know later maybe anyway I'm putting the thread here and and I'm also putting this on top of it okay I also put the thread in a way that it's under that the, the thread is coming from under and not over. Next. All right, we did that. Next is threading the machine for the bobbin. So we're gonna take our steps. First step is to go under there. I'm, I'm going to do that, go under. Next step is to go around this piece. I hope you guys can see. I'm going around this piece up there. It also shows you on the top. That's step two. And bring it this way. Let's see what step three is. Step three is to come around this little piece right here. So I, I went around this piece, went around it. Just like it says here. And I'm going to go around the circle piece, this little circle piece. I'm going to go around that and pull this way. Next step is to circle. Now, I've never wound a bobbin like this, but 
I tried it the old way and it didn't work. Um, so, so when I tried it the way that brother wants me to do it with this particular machine, then it worked. So I, as you see here, it wants you to twirl it around. I'm going to twirl it around once and twice. And the third time, I'm going to bring it through this loop here and cut it. So I'm going to bring my bobbin here, twirl around once, twice, twice. And this is the last time. And I'm going to cut it. Let me see if I can do that a little bit better. Because I, I get a little bit afraid of this. I guess there's no other way to twirl it around. But to go up one, two, three. I take it through there. I cut it. That's it. Next step is... To cut it we've done that the cutting piece is right there it's like little razors or little cutters all over this machine is it's really nice so we did that and now it says to take this is the speed that you want your bobbin to go um, and they want you to put it on the highest speed but I like to do it here because I like to be extra careful and then we're supposed to press that and the magic is supposed to begin. So um, I'm gonna put it here and let's see what's the next step is supposed to be the, the bobbin winding. Let's see what's after that. And then I guess we press that to stop it. And then we clip the bobbin thread. And all right, so let's see if I did the right thing so we're using this right now but later I'll show you how to use uh, this which I completely forgot what's the name of it and it's okay it's it's here all right the start stop button does not operate with the foot controller this is called a foot controller remove the foot controller see this this thing tells you everything okay so i'm going to remove the foot controller because i'm not using that right now and nothing has happened nothing is broken it just told me what i needed to do and um everything is the way that it came out of the box so I haven't moved this, I haven't moved anything but this. Okay, it, I don't think it's winding. I think it's just kind of, okay, something is wrong. Hmm, what is wrong? Okay, I, the piece came out from here. So I'm gonna pause it and I don't know how to pause it and come back, but I think this came out. All right, so we went through here, we went through here, we went over that, we went underneath that. And hmm. so yeah, this keeps falling out. I don't understand. We go through here. Over here. And one, <coughs> two, three. I don't know why this did not. I'm going 
going to try it one more time. I'm still, it's still not pulling. I don't know why it's not pulling. Alright, this is how I did it the first time. One, two, three, and I actually put it through this hole up here. I didn't pull it down through the, the bottom. I feel like this thing is not um, winding because the tension right here is, you can stop it please. <laughs> 